Are you the spirit that is attached to the clown? Thanks, thanks. What was that? What the was that? Will you please allow us to leave this game, cross these rods? It's saying no. Yeah. Look, 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 look. That one, but that one just moved to my right, your left. You smell it? It's not. It, dude. Oh! What's up everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I am bringing you all on some seriously haunted adventures. Almost kind of like Sunny Deeds crazy ass adventures. So but uh, if you don't know who this guy is, his name is Sunny Deeds, one of my best friends. We film a lot together. And tonight we're here at one of my properties that I own. This is a commercial piece of property that I own. It was built back in the 50s. This place is completely finished in downstairs, upstairs, not so much. I've never done anything with upstairs except for storage and keeping some weird collectible haunted things that I've uh, somehow occurred. Uh, I didn't even know that they were haunted. Um, but just, you know, some of the activity that has been witnessed up here by myself and Sonny, um, Omar, Mo, it's very, very strange. So, real quick before we jump into that, the reason why we're here, I have not filmed here or even been up in here in over two years years. Now Sonny, I gave him permission about six or eight months ago to go up here, film, check things out, and uh, he had a couple of weird things happen to him for sure. Uh, but tonight we're here because one of my cleaning ladies, Rose, who cleans this commercial building, was here by herself late at night. She was cleaning up on the latter half of her shift, and when she heard footsteps above her, She's a little concerned. She's like, hang on a second here. You have to have access cards everywhere you go in this building, and you have to scan before you get into certain places. And in order to get to the door to the attic, there's only two people who have access to that after hours. That's myself, and that's Rose, just for cleaning purposes. Well, she opens the door, and as you can see, the stairway, stairway behind me leads up here to the attic. She opened the door, and when she turned the knob and pulled the door open, the door was snatched out of her hand and slammed closed. And at that point, she freaks out. She calls me. I'm at dinner. I'm telling her, just stay calm. Either get out of the building or watch that door and make sure no one comes out of it type thing. Looking back at it, I probably should have never told her to stay in the building, but she did. So anyway, we all get there. We check it out. We inspect it. Nothing really out of place. Nothing strange. So, um... That's why we're here to investigate. Tonight we have the PMB box, we have the spirit box, and the dowsing rods. All three are instruments that we are going to use tonight. So without any further ado, let's go up on in here in this creepy ass attic and let's get going. Okie dokie, Sonny. Okie dokie, or the All right, okie dokie, I want the chokey. Man, without light, this is tough. Yeah, people don't, can't really understand, dude. Geez, I feel like I'm like drunk trying to film. Okay, so <clears throat> a lot of you recognize that sock monkey there, and the sock monkey is from uh, previous videos, definitely. Um, ow. Oh man, there's one more step. Uh, the sock monkey is said to be haunted. <clears throat> I personally would believe that there is maybe something attached to that, but um, yeah. <coughs> so most of you who have seen uh, my previous videos also know that behind that door down there there is uh, what seems to be a caution sign because there's no floor after that and that actually leads to a haunted room or ha haunted room a uh, 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 hidden room <clears throat> so I know doesn't it all right, so Sonny, there's clearly been some really like strange activity here this past week, but I can say this, that more than likely, if we're gonna catch something, what we're gonna have to do is... Shit! Damn it. What? Damn it. What? I jumped so hard that I closed, I... I... Oh, you... What? Would your camera shut off? Yes. On a real note, what the f was that? Damn, you scared me because you jumped so damn hard. 
the hell was that? It almost sounded like it was something in here. Man, this place is creepy as hell at night. Jeez. clown was in this window right here and, and that, that was well, definitely well the clown's down there now hmm. somebody been up here mm, not that I'm aware I'm of I'm telling you that clown was right here because Hey, Sonny, you want a fur coat? <laughs> yeah, look. Two things. One, I don't think that's going to fit. <coughs> You're probably right. That would, I would need a bear skin. <laughs> that would fit me. Yeah, no. I don't think I'm good with the fur. If there's anyone up here with us, I want you to show yourself. If you are an entity that is trying to get our attention, need you to show yourself. If you were the one that was trying to get attention from Rose, show yourself. Man, I say we set that PMB box up somewhere, and what we do is uh, put a hard cam up. You know what I mean? Put a camera up right there in front of it, so in that way, um, when it goes off, we can catch it. I think it's crazy. What does? That box. Oh, I know the PMB box is so weird, man. <laughs> show you the hidden door room that's right there as you can see that is the doorway the ceiling is right here what is that Close this back for now. I'm gonna have a whole sunny hold my camera when I go across. So you know what I thought? I just picked up on this. He looks a lot like you. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all have a lot of similarities. 
What are you looking up his nose? It's not. Has he got anything good up there? Is there anything good in that nose? Look at his eyes. He's got some nose hairs he needs to trim. I'm not in his friggin' nose. I'm looking at his <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I'm walking. This might possibly be worse than being drunk, I think. Let me look up in there. Let me look up his nose. Oh yeah. Look at that nose. Oh, actually, that thing is really creepy in infrared. It, 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 look at his eyes, dude. Get real close up on his eyes. Oh my gosh. He's got some uh, blackheads on his nose he needs to take care of. You are totally too oh, oh, what the oh, f was that? You heard that right? You damn right I did. Ow, shit! What is that? Is that something moving back there? Right back there at those chairs. <clears throat> There's a chair. Look at all of these chairs. See, you can see me waving. That's kind of cool. See, this is why we need that PMB box for sure. Man, we had that PMB box up here. Bet you that thing would be going off like crazy. Do you have it? Yeah, it's downstairs. Let's go to this uh, hidden room first. What do you think? And then we'll come back and we'll grab that. Oh gosh, that's a death trap right there waiting to happen. A damn rolly tube thing. Step on that. It's worse than ice. Uh, somebody was making some serious Christmas gift things with that. <clears throat> you know what weird? Oh my gosh. Dude, swear on my life, I closed that door. You can literally see in my video that I closed that door. I went over to the door and completely closed it. And that thing is open now. No joke. <clears throat> All right, everyone, go back in my video and watch because I 1000% closed that door. I slammed it closed, actually. Dude, what the hell? Go across. How are you going to get it back? <clears throat> uh, you're going to uh, you're going to hand it over to me. That's Fell, dude. You alright? Yeah. Alright, I got it. Oh, hell.
<coughs> it's getting harder to breathe up here. MD from Maryland. Chair is freaking. <clears throat> so I'm not really feeling any weird vibe here in this room, but <clears throat> as you can see, Sonny's talking to his viewers. But let me show you the gap. I have to put my foot on that board and then step up in to the attic over there. There's no stairs, so there's no way to get back across. Hey, I'm gonna give you this, Sonny, all right? Be careful. Dude, witness me shutting that door again. It's shut. Yeah, that's damn sure shut. What, um, what's over in there? There wasn't really much in there. I mean, except for like <clears throat> old paperwork and stuff. And then, um, not to mention just like, damn, son, easy, <laughs> easy, holy shit. I'm telling you, doing this in infrared is like 1,000 more times dangerous. <clears throat> yeah, there wasn't much over there except for like just old paperwork and stuff. I say we go and get like the P&B box. The f*** was that? Was that there before? Okay. That. Um. There's no way. Yeah, no, because it was it was open. There's no f way that was in the middle of this walkway. There's no way. No, we walked straight through. Where the hell did it come from? I didn't even see it. I didn't even anymore. see it up here either. I would have picked up on something that weird looking. I would think. What the hell? What? Did you ever catch your shadow on the wall and it freak you out? Yeah, I did that over there. That's why I waved at myself on the shadow. You know what's weird? Is the whole time that we've been up here. All right, something smells like shit. Did you fart? No, it literally stinks. Like somebody dropped a dookie up here. Ew. Ew. You smell that? Yeah. What in the world would that be? Ew, golly day, would the clown fart? He's holding his hand like he 
might have dropped a little deucey deuce or something. I don't know. Alright, let's walk over this way, man. The smell's getting stronger. The smell's getting stronger. Whoa, there's lights out there. Look. It's an emergency vehicle or something. You smell it? It's not at the- Oh! The f was that? Is there something behind me? Is there something behind me? I can't see. Is there something behind me? I swear on my life, I feel like there's something behind me. I can't see. It doesn't look like it. No. What the f was that? That was loud, bro. That was really loud. Was it, a door? was it the door? Or was... I, I don't even know where the hell it come from. I don't either. It just sound, it almost sounded like it was above us. But that's the f ceiling. Like, or the, the roof. There's no way in hell. That was violent sounding. Like, legitimately violent sounding. Oh my gosh, it stinks so bad over here. I can't even handle it right now. Why are you still standing there? Well, they say if, if it smells like sulfur, it's got to be some type of like spirit or entity. It, it, in my opinion, damn sure smells like sulfur. What was that? There's that smell again. You smell that too? I promise you, that's not me. It's really not. I'm, I have not farted a single time. Up here, at least. <laughs> I'm serious. You ever notice that when we're like, whenever we go adventuring, we both eat cheese, and it just don't settle well with us, cheese or butter? <laughs> Your lactose intolerant. I know that, but I love butter and cheese more than anything, man. I do. The f was that? Sonny, what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's any spirits up here with us right now. I need you to make yourself known. What do you think those damn noises are? Well, let me finish. In a very pleasant way, we want to communicate with you. We want to see why you are haunting this place. Why are you residing in here? Why do you choose this as the place that you want to stay? 
What if it's like a former employee of the f Okay. That almost sounds like it's it almost sounds like it's over here. Like around that corner. This is one time that we need a gun. I just feel safer, even though like you can't shoot a ghost, but Okay, I literally was just about to walk into that pumpkin Holy and didn't even know it. Right behind you? No joke, right behind you was like the weirdest. F what is that? Where's it even coming from? Yo, it's like straight over there now. Go straight over that way. What the hell was that? I keep catching, oh shit, that was me, that was me. I just kicked that box by accident. I keep catching our shadows right there. Yeah, oh, I keep catching the shadows over the clown. <clears throat> All right, so, look, dude, I'll tell you what, let's see, let's talk about getting the box. Let's go ahead and get that box, because I got two chains in my light. I'm All right, right that's now. fair enough. All right, All let's right. go get the PMB box. We'll set it back up here, yeah. and I'll put a hard cam on it. That way we can capture whatever it is. Okay, so uh, Sonny got his light replaced, and I want to show you all what I, what we're going to use tonight. Um, this is uh, what I call the PMB box. So uh, this thing here is, uh, you've seen probably uh, this in some of my previous videos. When you detect motion around this, this will go off. So, as you can see right here, there is no motion in front of this box. Now, that little thing on the end right there, that right there is actually what detects the motion. So when something goes in front of it, the light goes on and then it plays music. So as you can see here, and if I keep on moving, it will keep on playing music. As soon as I get out in front of it, it stops. So this is a cool device that we're gonna use and also the dowsing rods. Uh, I haven't particularly messed with these in a few videos actually. And uh, kinda excited to break these back out and um, ask some questions with these. Um, usually these are yes or no questions. Um, and uh, the spirit can answer yes or no by either splitting the rods or crossing the rods, whatever you have. Um, so we're gonna use these two. Uh, I think Sonny's pretty much ready. What do you think, dude? Let's get it. All right, so um, I want to set this up actually over near the clown, um, the PMB box at least, and then we'll take the dowsing rods. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my sweatshirt here, and uh, we'll go across there and we'll set up that PMB box. Yeah, damn, these things are going to fall out of my sweatshirt. Look out! It definitely doesn't get easier to walk up here, and that's. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I still have one. All right, I'm just going to... <clears throat> All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set this up right here. And that's pointed directly towards that clown. So... Man, that's so creepy. It creeps me out too, just hearing that. So 
where did you where did you put it? I put it right there on that little handrail. Okay. Pointing just, towards the clown. Let me just get a shot of it here. Oh, I'm getting ready to fall down here. What is that? So it is motion detector uh, motion detector here. This little plastic thing. The clown and what it does. <coughs> Man, it's so weird. I don't even like the little tune it does, man. Like yeah, that's no, I think they did that on purpose. So we've got that aimed toward uh, the clown. Also, it's going to catch uh, anything on the stairwell and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and leave that set up, and we're going to go over here in the area, another area. CJ's got uh, dowsing rods. What the hell was that? That was really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna set my camera right here and I'm gonna do the dowsing rods. Dowsing rods are uh, used to communicate with spirits, usually in a yes or no form. So I'm going to hold these just like so, and if they cross or open up, depending on which one I determine, uh, that be the answer. So um, uh, can you hold my camera too, Sonny? Because it's really not looking all that well sitting over here on this thing. So, um, oh, hang on one second. Hold on. Could turn your thing up here to make sure I'm not aiming at the floor. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Which way looks better on camera? Right here? Or like um, this? I would say turn a little more towards me because yeah. the shadows kind of, if you turn to the side, the shadows, right. you can't see the rods. Okay. Um, let me open this properly. Remember what happened last time when you don't open this is properly so um <clears throat> my name is CJ I'm here with my friend Sonny tonight we're here to perform an investigation we're gonna be using tools called these dowsing rods this is what you can use to communicate with us so if there's any spirits here one of you ten of you however many it might be I want to invite you to cross these rods or open these rods depending on the question. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and predetermine that crossing these rods like so means yes. Splitting the rods open like so means no. I wanna go ahead and start this. I'm gonna get these dowsing rods nice and level first. <clears throat> and then I will begin. Okay, yes being these cross, no being these open. Are you the spirit that is attached to the clown? The freaky clown over there in the corner. Are you the spirit attached to that clown? Okay, use all your energy now. You have to cross these rods. Holy f That's weird. So something with the clown. I've been, I've... My hands tingle every time I do these, right after I get an answer. It's almost like something's like touching the tips of my fingers. No, I just don't even like like the I don't even trust that clown really. I mean I know it's not real, but like I have like this fear like that thing is just gonna like come alive and like start moving and shit. It's <laughs> I don't know, man. 
have chills all over my body. All right, what else should we ask? So, all right, like, it says that it is attached to the clown, right? It's gotta be a why, but getting a yes and no question to figure out the why is like, uh, yeah. that's, that's tough. That sounds like something for the, the spirit box. Yeah, that's definitely a spirit box thing. How about this, how about this? How about we do, um, do you mean harm, yes or no? That'd be, a, that'd be a good question, right? Or good or evil, hard, yeah. yeah and yeah. remind me to close this session out, please. All right. Because I never do that, and that's why I feel like we've been having some really bad luck here lately. Okay, let's get these frauds. Uh... <clears throat> okay, my next question is this. <clears throat> do you mean harm to the people who come up here to this attic. I mean, that, that's a clear enough answer there. Yeah, you can't get any more further apart. No. So it means no. So it's not mean any harm to us, which is good news. It's awesome, actually. <clears throat> just feels like, just like a, almost like a shallow feeling up here. Not that anything, I don't know if anything bad happened here. There's no story that, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> well, it's already acknowledged the clown. So maybe the history of the clown needs to, where, where did that clown come from? Was it here already in the building, or has it been put inside it? Hmm. Damn, that was weird. Are you going to puke? No, uh -uh, I'm not going to puke. I swear, I, 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 it felt like somebody just like went, like not hard, like punched me in the mouth, but just like hit me in the mouth. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but it just felt like a lot, of, like a lot of force or pressure against my lips. <clears throat> There's something over there. Gosh, what the hell was that? Hang on. Bro? Oh man, I thought the door was open again. I'm like, there's no way. <clears throat> well, I mean, the PMB box hasn't even gone off, which is, I guess, good? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Whoa. That was a heavy thud. Does that not sound like a man? I don't know, but every time I turn towards you, it 
at you like that. Your infrared glares me out. Oh. Uh. That's okay, but my light's dying again, too. Damn, Nate. All right. If this is you making this noise, I want you to cross these rods, and I want you to not hesitate. I want you to come over here. Cross these rods. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, the, the good news is, like, at least it's not, like, evil. Uh, I mean, all right, so let me ask you this. Your opinion. You've been here alone. You've been here with me. What is your opinion? Is it good? Is it evil? Like, I, I, you know what Omar told me one time? That spirits also try to manipulate you into, like, um, basically, like, uh, okay, so you ask, like, you know, are, are you meaning any harm towards me or anything like that? And you know what, you know, he says, he made a very valid point. That evil spirits are, of course, going to lie to you. Why are they going to tell you the truth? You see what I mean? Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, what's what's your, what's that your opinion shit. on that? Uh, on being evil? I, I, I don't know, dude. I mean, the whole thing. Rose heard the footsteps. Um, the door slamming. The previous time I had been up here, the clown moving. Yeah. Footsteps. Door slamming. Uh, the things that have happened, I mean, it's, it's, there is something up here. I do believe that it may be attached to the clown because I just get a weird vibe with that friggin' clown every time that, that it's up here. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I can call it good or whether I can call it evil. I can only go by just previous experiences. And is it something that's just trying to get our attention with the noises and things like that? Um, is it trying to create or do harm? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't been harmed. Yeah. Um, so I don't. Know like, you I know, and I, I, I look back on some of our videos that we've done before. Think about this. Like, what if? What if there? I mean, every spirit is not evil, first off. But what if it's like a friendly spirit? And because I, I feel like we've run across more friendly spirits, like maybe trying to get our attention. Or trying to get just generalized attention more than anything, like an untold story or something like that. I don't know. I believe it. I believe it. I think things. Ah! <laughs> what was that? What the f was that? Did a light bulb just fall? What the f was that? Dude, no, a light bulb didn't fall. We'd have heard it. Burn. That was heavy, dude. That was freaking that was, heavy. I bet you that was that pumpkin. I bet you that was that pumpkin, bro. I swear if I look back on that footage and that pumpkin levitates and slams down, I'm gonna piss myself watching that. What the f was that? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I gotta turn myself on. I can't see shit. Anymore. Dude, close the the, the Dawson rod thing. You still never. Oh closed. shit! I did. I did. Was that that thing? That that I bet that was it. I don't know. That was loud, like like it would be slammed down. Oh my gosh! Did you imagine we got that on camera? Did you get that on camera? I don't know. I was pointing that way. I shit. I don't know. 
Holy. Yeah, I was scared. Alright, let's, let's close this session out. Let's just close this session out. Yours. All right, okay. it's closed. That was so friggin' close, whatever that was. Okay. My name is CJ and my friend Sonny. We would like permission to close out this dowsing rod. These dowsing rod session. Will you please allow us to leave this game, cross these rods? Saying no. Yeah. Look, 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 look. That one, but that one just moved to my right, your left. Look at it. Will you please allow us to leave this session peacefully, please? Please, please, please. Cool. Every time I play with these dowsing rods, I'm telling you, man, it literally feels like somebody's just like touching the tips of my fingers and, and like I get chills every time, dude. So your parents get know when you play with your rod? Yeah. Seriously, dude. Oh my like, god. You know, I mean, I don't know, dude. That's. I'm telling you, we might have just caught like the most insane paranormal evidence ever. The thing's hollow. Like, there's nothing inside this thing. Alright, so it said it would allow us to leave peacefully. Why don't we first? Let's get out of here. Get out. Let's leave peacefully. Sorry. Tell so me this. We've got uh, the box. Let's go. You got all your stuff? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, where's the PMP box? Oh, oh shit, <laughs> that's me. Oh, man, thank goodness that was you.